Hello. Good morning. Am I audible to you? Yeah, you are audible. Okay. So how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What about you? Yes, I'm doing good too. Thank you. Uh, so please tell me a little about yourself before we begin. Yeah, my name is Premlata. I'm from Rajasthan. If I talk about my qualification, I have done graduation in economics and my hobbies are cons my hobby is these days I'm just learning this language. So this language has become my hobby. And okay. I'm a full time homemaker. That's all about me. OK. OK. So do you also means uh, give session or tech session from from learners? Yes, I give sessions also. I do paid sessions as well. So you are already working somewhere or you have started taking sessions? No, I am not working anywhere. I'm working independently as a freelancer. The yeah, learners come to me and uh, okay, I give paid sessions to them. No, but I have watched your videos. So you are working like for Inktoki. I used to work for Inktoki, but I stopped working last month. Now I'm okay. totally doing it independently. Okay. So why, why do you want to learn this language? Uh, this language fascinated me a lot when I was in my school. In, when I was in the school that time, first time I came across with this language in my fifth class. But you know, there was no any good teacher who can teach us this language very beautifully. So that was that that is the thing which was always in my mind. So these days I'm just getting opportunities. So I'm learning this language. And somewhere mm -hmm. I also feel that I'm living in a village. So this is the need of my village. OK, so what yeah. do you want to do? Like you want to learn English and teach others or you want to get a job? No, I want to learn English. Yeah, I'm especially working on my spoken skill. So I want to teach. OK, you want to be a teacher. Yeah, teacher, but not mm -hmm. working in a school or like a, private school or somewhere else. I want to do mm -hmm. something by my own. Yeah. OK, OK. You want to do what I'm doing currently, right? Yeah. Teach yeah. spoken English. Right. OK, so, so I just want to I just want to say you that uh, if I make any mistakes during conversation, please correct me. Yes, sure. Yes, I will. I will. So uh, can we talk about do you have any questions for me so you can go first? No, I don't have because it is a problem for me asking questions to a person. It is a question. It is very difficult for me. OK, OK, right. OK, so uh, we will do this. We, we could talk about our, our daily routine and we can discuss about it. Okay? OK, is that OK with you? OK, so please tell me about your daily routine. What do you do during the day? During the day? Uh, yeah, I have to say like from. OK, from, from morning, time you wake up. Hmm. OK. These days, you know, it is winter season going on, so I get up a little bit late, like mm -hmm. around 7, 7 a.m. And then I prep, and then I then I do my old like basic things like freshen up and all the things. And after that, I go, uh, go into the kitchen and prepare uh, prepare breakfast and lunch for my kids because, you know, my kids, uh, my my kids schools are starting from today onwards so i prepared lunch and breakfast for them mm. and in between my husband also leave home and leaves at around yeah leaves at around 11 at around 11 or 11 30 i just uh, i just complete my all works household works everything and then i start uh, like i start doing my practice english mm. and mm. these days i have started my youtube channel so that's why i am also mm. taking sessions yeah. Mm -hmm. So around uh, uh, it depends on time, how much time I get. Uh, so in the afternoon, I just re uh, like listen conversation videos and podcasts. And if I get some more time, then I do that uh, time in in grammar part. OK, during that time you do your grammar part. Grammar yeah, in the sense, do you read grammar? No, I just I just listen. 
listen like you watch, watch videos, videos on you yeah we watch videos on youtube okay and if mm. i talk, and in the in, in the afternoon i take tea and then again i'm a working i'm a homemaker so start preparing dinner and all these things and at 7 mm-hmm. o'clock 7 to 7:30 uh, we have our dinner and after that i i teach my kids and okay. at around 10 to 10:30 i go to bed okay so do you always take your dinner this early or because it is winter no i always take my dinner at around 7 to 7:30 rarely it happens like 8 to rarely in very rare rare case i have take taken like 8 sometime 9 but otherwise i have my dinner at around 7 to 7:30 mm-hmm. that's a very nice practice that's what everybody recommends you know you like during sunset yeah. you prefer to not have your dinner after sunset after so 7 sunset. 7:30 is ideal yeah because mm-hmm. you know i think we have to have our dinner at around before we go to bed uh yes. before 3 hours 3 hours 3 hours yeah 3 yeah. hours at least 2 to 3 hours gap should be there between sleeping and taking your dinner and taking yes. your dinner and i think many of us know this but very few of us practice this yeah <laughs> so is your routine different from weekdays and weekends no same same routine same routine i follow okay even sundays you like wake up at the uh, same time the time that you're waking up you know sunday is uh, i think sun on sunday i have extra workload because mm-hmm. kids are at home so they do so many things they just put everything here and there so i have i became very restless restless mm-hmm. on sunday you become you become very restless on sundays yes yes and somewhat we prefer that we prefer weekdays to weekends for makers we want that you know if it is a weekday yeah. we have some time for ourselves but yeah. sundays and holidays we don't want sundays and holidays <laughs> yeah because we don't want kids at home <laughs> exactly exactly yes and is there anything about your daily routine that you want to change i want to change yeah mm. i want something to change new, something, something you don't like about your daily routine or something new you want to add into your daily routine yeah i want to add like reading habits i am not in the habit of reading so these days i'm just missing it because you know if i read if i make this habit in my daily routine then i can avoid making mistakes mm. while having conversation right reading and listening to both of these are very important you know to help you with your speaking practice yeah mm. right and for how long have you been practicing this routine which routine your daily routine i've learned your daily routine for how long mm-hmm. for how many years has it, has it been that you are doing all these things at the same time uh is in my question con- clear to you yeah clear but in which context like i am a homemaker say, like maybe you uh, yeah maybe after marriage you started this routine so yeah, in in that marriage. context i'm asking you yeah mm. because, after marriage uh, after know, kids ah uh, if i talk about mostly after kids because you know we i have to prepare lunch and uh, breakfast for according to my kids mm what they like to eat yeah. so depends on what so how many children do you have yeah i have two kids two kids how old are they both are grown up my daughter is elder one she is 11 years old and my son is 8 years old okay so do they have some food preferences or they match yeah. each other's food no both have mm-hmm. different yeah different choices but i have to manage i just uh, i just tell them whatever i cook for everyone you have to take okay so Because, do they listen know, to you yeah sometime not but sometime yes yeah yeah you were telling something continue you you, you yeah. have Do you have kids? 
Yes, I have two kids as well. My daughter is nine years old and my son is four years old. And their food preferences are totally different. My son, he is like from some other planet. He doesn't eat what we eat. Okay. So every single time of the day, I have to do something else, prepare something else for him. Okay. My daughter is quite adaptive. What we eat in the day, I mean, what we grown-ups eat, she will eat the same food. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, talking about your routine, when you got married, it was comparatively different to what it is now after your kids have kids were born, right? Yeah. Mm. So during your college days or when you used to study, what was your routine like? Did you wake up earlier compared to now? No. I still, uh, because of, um, I have some problem these days. Like for the past four months earlier, I used to wake up at around 5 to 5.30. Oh. Mm. Yeah. But these days, because of some problem, health issue, I'm not getting up because I'm not able to walk properly. That's why. Okay. Right. You know, sometimes yeah. it happens that, you know, you wake early and throughout the day you feel very lethargic and you don't feel like doing anything if you have lack yeah. of sleep. Yeah. yeah. Mm, it happens with women, you know. Yeah, I know. Right. So, okay. Hmm. So, do you think it is important to have a routine? Yeah. Because, you know, if we have routine, if we follow certain routine, then we know what, what we have to do in that certain period of time. So, if hmm. we follow our routine, if we have set something in our mind that I have to do this thing in this period of time or in this uh, time, then we, hmm. uh, we easily... We can easily do that thing at that time. Mm, correct. Correct. Is there some part of your routine that you do not like? For me, if you if you ask me, there is some part in my routine. When I do the sessions 12 to 12.30, then I just sit idle. I watch reels and I do something very, which is not at all constructive. So this part of my routine, I don't like at all. So what about you? Yeah, sometimes I also do because of my daughter. My daughter also, uh, my daughter, wo my daughter watch reels. Watches? Okay, your yeah, daughter my watches daughter reels. reels. <laughs> she, ju she just, if she have phone, she mobile, if she has mobile phone, she all the time watches reels. Mm. So I just keep telling, I just keep telling her that, uh, such like such kind of videos are not constructive for her means not very fruitful for her because you know yes. she has to she has it is, to it is not appropriate for children deals yeah because what they are what they are watching we don't know actually mm. because you know we we can't be all the time with them yes true and the reels are so addict addictive once you start yeah. scrolling you can't stop they just like magic. I also do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And they say, you know, like when children are watching reels, so, uh, you know, the context is changing. The content is changing every like one minute, two minutes. So that is harmful to their eyes and their brain also. So they say that uh, reels are not meant for children. They mustn't watch it because it is their growing years. So I, I okay, I give the device sometimes to children, but I, Tell them strictly, you can't watch shorts, you can't watch reels. You can watch only long content. That too, only which is made for children. You can't watch something else. So with this condition, they watch. Yeah, I also give, uh, I also give my children phone around half an hour, for half an hour. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Most 15 minutes, days. sometimes, yeah. Sometimes 15 minutes, up. Sometimes it becomes half an hour. Mm. And unless you ask them for it back, they will not give you. You have to yeah, it yeah. struggle again to put it back, pull it back from them. Right. <clears throat> so sometimes do you think like, you know, when you have the same routine every day, do it, does it become monotonous sometimes? Yeah, sometimes it becomes because, because you know, I think every person... Uh, gets every person gets leave from their work mm -hmm. but we only we are homemakers don't have this kind of leaves and holidays 
so sometimes i also feel that uh, you know, my life has become monotonous <laughs> sometimes we complain right i need a day off it's just yeah, send me somewhere but, so i'll stay by myself but it is not possible actually yeah it is not possible not, yeah we can't leave our family alone yeah even if we make it possible and go somewhere we are missing missing our yeah, children and think, prefer yeah we just keep thinking that to what my children are doing what my husband is doing all the things what will happen there what is happening yeah. there and all the things yeah yeah and you know children is already plural so you, you can just say children don't use children's okay yeah i think you know it already but during the flow yeah, i know children's come yeah, yeah i know yeah because you know this is a uh, just my third or fourth session okay yeah. so uh, what is the name of your youtube channel uh, enhance english communication enhance english communication okay so how long what was your youtube journey when did you start it i just started 3 to 4 days back Oh <laughs> yeah I started my channel 3 to 4 days but I am learning this language it's been more than 5 months I have been learning So do you intend to post spoken english conversations on your channel Yeah now I am thinking about it Okay okay very nice Yes okay so any any other questions or we could wrap the session I want you to ask me some question because you say that it is difficult for you to ask a question right so think think yeah. of something that you can ask me unless you push yourself you won't learn so i want you to ask at least one question to me okay i just try please okay suggest me what are the things i should uh, i should follow to become like to become a proficient speaker hmm uh steps that you follow that you you are already doing okay you are fluent you are quite accurate very minute mistakes are there but i would say that i think you are a little bit hesitating little bit hesitation is there in you still okay because you are not having a lot of sessions every day i think so every yeah. single day yeah make it a practice to have at least one session every single day if possible have two because this is your speaking practice so in order to become more confident and remove that hesitation from yourself i would say uh, have sessions daily now you that you have a youtube channel you need content for your channel and you definitely yeah. have need to take sessions that is a smart way yeah. of uh, you know when you start a youtube channel it becomes your responsibility so that is a smart way to push yourself to have speaking practices speaking practice Mm. so i would mm. say do this every day you will get rid of your hesitation you'll become more confident and uh, that will help you with your fluency also because your 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 english is very good your fluency is good your accuracy is good just very minute mistakes which can be taken care of along the way no i know some i know my mistakes but but, but when it comes to speaking i make that mistakes because yes, you know yes. it will take some time for me because english is the third language for me first is my mother tongue second is hindi and the third is english yes yes definitely because we indians this is not a native language so it is very yeah. difficult for us to speak it as well as we speak our native language so yeah. the native language will always always be first whatever happens that will come to you first later english will come so you know you have to surround yourself with so much english that it becomes your native language that is why i'm saying you to practice speaking every single day so that time you yeah. you along with practice you know the way i mean when you keep practicing even these minute errors will not happen okay mm. okay so shall we end the session now yeah okay yes lovely talking okay. to you same here it was wonderful talking with you okay okay bye. have a good day bye bye can we have more session Mm yes I will let you know when there is availability we can have more sessions Okay Yeah bye bye Bye